All right, sorry in advance if I look like death. It is um, almost midnight on the day before I am being induced. I wanted to film my 40 slash 41 week bump date though, <laughs> my very last bump date. I am technically Sunday, today is technically Sunday, um, like right at midnight. Uh, so it's technically according to my doctors, that's my 41 week mark. My 41 week mark, according to my calculations, is technically on Tuesday, but we'll just say this is like a 40 slash 41 week bump date. Um, so yeah, my last bump date. I am set to be induced tomorrow morning. I get up in five hours basically and call the hospital. And what they basically said happens is I call the hospital at 5 a.m. And if they have enough room, then in two hours at 7 a.m. I'll go in and they'll start Pitocin and break my water and get things going. Um, if they don't have room, then they'll, they'll let me know and they'll be like, okay, well, we don't have room right now. Um, we'll call back in a couple hours and whenever there's a room freed up. So we're hoping, we're just hoping that when we call at 5 a.m. in a couple hours here that they just have a room ready and we can get in at 7 o'clock in the morning and get the process going real quick. Um, so that's the hope. Um, yeah, so the 14th is officially the idea of his potential birthday. So, I don't know, I'm excited, I'm nervous. I'm up at midnight right now filming this and I just like, I don't know. I still don't have a bag packed even because <laughs> we're such procrastinators. I literally don't have a bag packed for myself. I finally got his bag done. He's got clothes and a couple pacifiers and a couple other things. Um, not bringing too much for him just because I know they're gonna have diapers and wipes and he's honestly like he probably won't even use a lot of his clothes because we'll probably be doing a lot of like skin to skin and breastfeeding and everything um so his bag was easy and then I feel like mine's gonna be pretty easy I'm just gonna throw some clothes into the into the hospital I'm not very high maintenance when it comes to that sort of thing I'm just gonna throw some comfy clothes into the hospital bag probably I have my makeup and then just toiletries so just my toothbrush last minute my hairbrush and then I have like a little travel set already packed up for, um, I has like a thing of dry shampoo, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash in it, and then a thing of deodorant. And that's probably gonna be it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying not to keep things too crowded. I don't like, I'm just trying to keep things very, very, very like low maintenance. Um, I have been, the past two weeks, I have been trying to induce on my own. <laughs> I've been doing squats like crazy. I've been eating pineapple and spicy foods and walking and um, I think the only thing we haven't tried is like a lot of people recommend like sex and we haven't done that just because that's like the last thing on my mind right now. Um, but aside from that I've been trying like all sorts of things to get labor going and just nope. He's just chilling. He's comfy cozy in there I guess but eviction date <laughs> we finally are just gonna evict him out of there and get him out of there um the only worry that i have really going into this is that i'm afraid that he might be what they call sunny side up which means like he's head down i know he's head down but when the baby's head down they're also supposed to be like facing your back i feel like he might be facing forward i don't know if there's a way we didn't we never ended up getting a late ultrasound like we thought we were going to so we don't really know um i don't know if when i go in tomorrow if like the nurses have a way to like feel and like get an idea of whether or not he's sunny side up or not i don't know i don't know but based off of like his movements i just have a, a little bit of a fear that he might be sunny side up and i've heard that that can cause some complications during delivery um so yeah but really that's really my only main concern or worry that I have um because aside from that I kind of know the drill when it comes to induction just because I Riley wasn't in, she she was an induction baby so we I, I know Pitocin I know I kind of know how the ball gets going I know how that goes and I know I'll probably request like the peanut ball to help me dilate that really helped me with Riley um in an hour it helped me go from like an eight to a ten so I know like what to ask for. I know I kind of have an idea of what, what's gonna happen like beforehand. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't really know what else to talk about. I guess final stats, I think my weight gain for the total pregnancy 
was I think four pounds is my total weight gain um it fluctuates anywhere between like three and five pounds so I'll just say four pounds um and I don't know I think that's it I I don't know what else to update on that's it we're gonna have a baby tomorrow and I'm like I'm nervous and excited all at the same time and I think Riley's excited but at the same time she's been hearing like oh baby brother's gonna come for like the past two almost three weeks so I don't think she's I think she's at this point she's just kind of like okay and she doesn't really know what that means but hopefully she's gonna be excited I think she's gonna be excited I'm excited to see her reaction that's something I'm really looking forward to I don't know if she'll we're kind of playing it by ear as far as like who's gonna like be there like when during the actual delivery if she's she might be there she might not um either way I'm not really sure I'm just excited to see her reaction whether it's when he's born or whether it's a little bit after he's born I'm just excited to see her reaction and see I don't know I just I'm so excited for about that um we are filming as much as we can of the labor and delivery I don't really know I don't think they'll let me film during like the delivery delivery I think they let you film like right after they're born um I don't know I'll have to ask even if they do I don't know if Jake will remember to pick up the camera like while I'm actually pushing or if he'll even want to that might just be something that we just want to keep to ourselves I don't know we'll kind of see but I do plan to film tomorrow like vlog style like I do plan to like update throughout the day and everything um so yeah Wish me luck. <laughs> I can't believe by the time this is posted, I'll be in labor and I'll be in the hospital. Well, it might be posted a little bit earlier, but by the time most people see this, if they're watching it within like the first day of being at post, I'll probably have a baby by then, which is crazy. But yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna do my very last bump shot and then I'm gonna go. All right, there it is. Very last bump date. I don't know. I don't feel like he's gotten any bigger, honestly. I feel like he's just, like, matched, reached his maximum. My body's reached its maximum size. <laughs> I feel like it did that a couple weeks ago. I don't know. I'll have to look back at the videos. Yep. Luckily, none of my stretch marks have really darkened much. So, and I can kind of, like, it's really weird. I can, it kind of depends on how I'm, But yeah, okay, that's it. Um, next time I sit down and film one of these types of videos, I will have a little baby. Yeah. All right, thanks so much for watching.